welcome to my channel. My name is Violet Okolocha. I talk about everything about all ski and nursing here in the UK. How are we all doing? I know we are all fine. Before we say what we have today, big and massive congratulations to all those who passed their OSKI exam. I'm super proud of you. Welcome to Band 5 Rolls. And so today we'll be doing a skill midstream urine. This skill is 12 to 15 minutes in your OSKI exam is a very simple skill. Like I keep saying, OSKI is a very simple exam. All you need to do is to calm your nerves down and go do what you know best how to do. So it's 15 minutes, interact with the mannequin as though you are interacting with a live patient. So guys, let's get started. I approach my scene, I see my scene is safe to approach. I provide privacy for my patient, which is very important to maintain dignity. And I do my hand hygiene according to WHO method, palm to palm, right palm over left dosum, vice versa, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked, rotation of the palm, rotation of the palm, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and the wrist. So guys, my hands are clean, I can now approach my patient. Hello lovely. Hello. My name is Violet. I'm one of the nurses looking up to you today. Is it alright if I just confirm your name and date of birth, if that's alright? Yeah, that's fine. So what's your name, honey? My name is Ailey Brooke. Perfect. And your date of birth? 15th of February 1940. Oh, bless you. Is it alright if I double check with your wristband, honey? Yes. Alright. I have here Ailey Brooke. Date of birth, 15th February 1940. Hospital number 10010. Assessor, with a paperwork on my hand, I can confirm I have the right patient. Ellie? Yes? Is it alright if I just ask you if you have any allergies at all to food, to drugs, to latte, so I then see if that's alright? Yeah, I don't have any allergy. Oh, bless you, you have no allergy. So, Mrs. Ellie, um, is this a convenient time to talk with you? Yes, that's fine. All right. Are you having any pains at the moment? No, not oh, really. Oh, bless you. The reason I'm here, actually, Mrs. Ailey, is because um, you've been having some temperature spike here and there, and, you know, the doctors are happy for us to do a urinalysis on you. If that's all right? Yeah, that's fine. So, are you happy to do that for me? Yeah, I've been expecting you. Oh, bless you. Bless you, honey. So, all I need to do, my love, is I'm going to give you a clean pod, all right? Okay. I'll give you a clean pod. I'm going to give the clean pod to you all you need to do for me is to wipe i'll give you a clean wipe you are going to wipe from you know before you do that just help me wash your hands make sure your hand is clean okay all right so once your hand is clean go into the toilet wipe yourself from front to back that's right after wiping yourself start passing urine into the toilet got it we just want midstream urine we don't want the beginning of the urine and we don't want the end either, so midway of the urine. After which, after you start passing urine, pop up the pod into the toilet and pass the midstream urine in there. When you are done, pass the rest of the urine into the toilet and get the pod for us. So wash your hand after which, and you can get the pod back for us. Do you understand, honey? Yeah, perfect. Can you say I understand. That for me? So you asked me to wipe. Okay, so and wipe from where? Front from to front back. to the back. Lovely. Yeah, and then... Before you wipe, what do you do? I wash my hand first. You have to wash your hand first. Perfect. Yeah. And wipe from front to back. Perfect. Yes. And, and then take the pot and, and get the mixed stream urine. We don't want the beginning on it. Yeah. And we don't want the hand either. Mm. So mid will, if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. So, Adi, just give me a minute. You have your call bear with you. Then I'll just assemble my equipment. Is that all right? It's all right. Oh, thank you. Bless you. So, guys... After explaining to the patient, endeavor to validate your equipment. Usually, everything is all set for you like it is. It is usually all set up for you. But if it is not, endeavor to clean your pot. It should be. Endeavor to clean, you know, I'm going to clean my trolley and make sure, you know, just do all that. But it should be all set out for you. So because it's all set out, I'll do my hand hygiene again. And I'll validate my equipment. This is a clean pod I'm going to be giving to the patient. This pod is valid, is not expired. And I'll be happy to give this to my patients. I do my hand hygiene again. This is a clean wipe. I will give this as well to my patient. All right. Hello, Mrs. Haley. Hello. I'm back. So have your wipe and your pod all right thank you all right so i'm expecting to get your urine back in a minute if that's all right that's fine all right bless you so guys 
all given to the patient. Now you have to assemble all your equipment. So, endeavor to verbalize. You are going to clean your trolley with the cleaner wipes. After cleaning your trolley with the cleaner wipes, endeavor to validate your equipment. Put on your apron and your glove. Like I said, it's all set up for you. So, put on your apron and put on your glove and carry out your analysis. This is midstream urine. So, let's do this. So, now this is the clean, um, sorry, the multi stick. Validate this multi stick. This is valid. The expiring date is 2022. So, it's valid. I'm happy to take a script from here because it's valid. Now, this is your tissue. After dipping the strip into this urine, you have to keep it here to drip off. And then go to verbalize that you will take a strip from here, put it into the urine for not lesser, as in for not longer than one second, then you put it here to drip. So guys, let's do this, we're ready. So, open the urine. Now you can see this urine is clear, it's not offensive. I validated my multi-stick, so I'm going to pick one out. After picking one out, like we said, I'm going to dip it into the urine. Now there is a mark here. You don't dip it above this mark, close to the semen. You can see a mark. You don't dip it above this mark. So I'm going to dip it into the urine for not lesser than one second. It's out. I'll take it out and I'll put it in the tissue just to drip off. You can cover your urine if you like, which I do, and I prefer you should do on the exam day. Now, you are going to hold this, your urine strip, at an angle at the edge of the container. This is how it should be held. Hold it at an angle at the edge of the container. And endeavor to verbalize that you are going to wait for the required time before reading your urinalysis. So, assessor, I'll wait for the required time before reading my urinalysis. Is 30 seconds, I'm happy to read the glucose. This patient has three pluses of glucose in the urinalysis, as we can see. Now, for the ketone, the ketone is negative. Now, for the specific gravity, it is 1.010. The blood is negative. Now, let's get the pH. The pH of this urine is closest to 6.0. It's closest to 6.0. The protein is negative. Endeavor to verbalize that you are going to wait for the required time. Very, very important. So let's go over it, guys, again. This patient has three pluses of glucose in the urine. I'll wait for 30 seconds. And this patient has three pluses of glucose in the urine. For the ketone, I'll wait for 40 seconds before reading it. It's 40 seconds already because the exam is timed. It's negative. The specific gravity, I'll wait for 45 seconds before reading it. And the specific gravity is 1.010. Now, the blood, I'll wait for 60 seconds before reading it. The blood is negative. The pH, I'll wait for 60 seconds before reading it. And the pH is closest to 6.0. The protein, I'll wait for 60 seconds before reading it. The protein is what? Negative. You can see clearly the protein is negative. Now, for the nitrate, I'll wait for 60 seconds before reading it. The nitrate is negative. For the leukocyte, I'll wait for 120 seconds before reading it. It is negative so endeavor to verbalize that you wait for required time before reading it now guys for me i'm a good crammer i have crammed now that the patient has three pluses of glucose in the urine the specific gravity is 1.010 and the ph is 6.0 so if you cannot cram like me remove one glove remove one glove the glove on your right hand hold it like this and begin to write but me i have crammed it so i'm happy to put this back and put this back Take off my glove and my apron and write all I have done. Do my hand hygiene and I'll record my analysis. Verbalizing that you wait for the required time before reading 
your urinalysis is very important. So my patient name is Eli Brook. The date of birth is 15th of February, 1940. Hospital number 10010. And the word, you can give any word you like. So for the glucose, we said three pluses. I give a tick. Bilirubin, we said it was negative. Ketone is negative. Specific gravity, remember we said it was 1.010. The blood, we said it was negative. The pH, we said it was what? 6.0. Protein is negative. Nitrate is negative. Leukocyte is negative. And that is all. Do your hand hygiene and go to the patient and explain all you've done. Hi, Mrs. Ailey. Hello, Doss. I'm done. I'm back. <laughs> oh. All right. So I've just carried out an analysis on you. However, I am happy to take this urinalysis sample to the lab for further investigation, if that's all right. That's fine. Yeah, because from the urinalysis, everything looks okay, but you have like three pluses of glucose in your urine. Oh, wow. Is that yeah. bad? Well, it's not bad because we, we, we are not very certain because I would say, you know, when we have glucose in the urine, we'll talk about pre-diabetes or probably someone who has diabetes or probably it could be possible the drug you're taking could make there to the glucose in your urine. So we are not too sure. Um, this is not a very analytic result. So we're going to send it to the lab to get more, you know, more results and see what we have to say, okay? All so right. I won't bother you with that for now. Okay, right? thank you. And it's also possible that there could be some infection to the kidneys. So we're going to be setting where we send this to the lab and get further analysis, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's fine. Do you fine. have any questions at all? No, that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, so when the lab result is out, I'll be happy to explain more to you if that's all right. All right, that's okay. okay. All right, so um, is there anything you'd like to talk to me about? No, I've, I've already asked what that was my concern. Are you okay. able to Are you answer happy? me? Yeah, I'm, I am. Don't worry, very soon we have you running up and down all over the world. All oh, right, thank you. Bless your heart. If you need anything, my love, don't hesitate to use your call bell, all right? All right. Are you comfortable the way you are? Yes, I am. You want me to raise your bed? Anything you want me to do? Um, at the moment, I'm fine, but oh, whenever you. I need that, I will give you a call. Lovely, lovely. So have your call bell on me, all right? So, guys, that's all about the urinalysis. Very simple. Dip your strip into the urine for not longer than one second. Dip it, keep it in the tissue to drip. Hold it at an angle at the edge of the container and be able to verbalize that you wait for the required time. Of course, you can't wait for the required time if you know what I mean. But you have to verbalize like I wait for the required time before reading the results. And if you have the energy of the strength, you can say I wait for 45 seconds. Each of the urine analysis has the sticker. Now, when you are done, endeavor to put on your apron back. That's what I advise. Endeavor to put on your gloves. And wipe this multi stick you have used. Because if you wash, sometimes you may have contaminated the body of this. So endeavor to take. Cleaner wipes, we'll check the expiry date of this cleaner wipe, it is valid, it's not expired, it's 2023. And clean your multi-stick and tell the assessor that you're going to arrange all equipment you have used and document correctly. That is the end of urinalysis. So simple. This patient has three pluses of glucose and explain a bit. When a patient has three pluses of glucose, it may be related to pre-diabetes, may be related to diabetes, it may be related to kidney injuries or infection of the kidneys. You read, you know what I mean, infection to the kidneys. And because you're not very certain, you have to send it to the lab for further investigation. That's all about this. Very simple. So guys, I wish you all supernatural success in your exam. If you have any question, endeavor to ask. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and keep sharing my video. And I want to give a special thanks to my friend, Mrs. Agatha, helping me to do this video. Thanks so much for the time, for the energy, for the patience. So guys, I will see you in my next video on medication. And until then, Keep passing your OSCE exam. Have a lovely day. Success to you all. Bye, guys.